before we uh, start this one, I just want to say thanks to everybody that subbed. Um, you know, when I first started this, uh, I didn't expect, <laughs> I really didn't expect much subscribers, but uh, recently, as of late, the uh, subscriber count's really, really climbing, and, the, you know, this is just a fat hamster with a keyboard, right? But anyway, thanks for the support. So, uh, again, if you find this content useful, you like my rising, my tutorials, anything, whatever you find on the channel, please give a like and a sub. You know, the fat hamster would really appreciate it. And he never forgets kindness. So, let's just start this one off. In the Ranger file manager, we'll see that, uh, let's say we open a text file, right? We will have a default program that uh, opens the file, but we can change that. So for example, here, the default uh, file, ma uh, file editor, the text editor, sorry, that I use is Vim, but you can change it here. I actually don't really use <laughs> Vim that often, um, but I have it set well, not me personally, but I guess system-wide on Arch Linux, by default, it's set as the text editor, but I really use Nano. I know it's not very cool, but I like Nano. I'm comfortable with Nano. So let's just go about changing this, right? So let's say you want to change your default text editor in Ranger, right? So let's back out of here. Now, I usually like to configure everything in this directory because this will set things globally, but for some reason, um, I guess it's because it's a not, uh, how do you say? It's not read there, I guess, this file here. We need to create a file called rifle.conf. Now, I would place it here, uh, slash ranger but it doesn't actually work so we'll have to do it locally which is cool uh, it just means that if you have multiple users you'll have to do it multiple times but it's okay i guess it's fine too because this is also probably user specific more specific than uh doing other configurations in ranger so let's go into our ranger manager here not manager sorry directory and we'll see that it's empty because, like I said before, I like to configure everything in the etc directory. But here we'll create this uh, configuration called rifle. Now rifle is the um, sort of launcher that Ranger uses when you're navigating inside, right? So we'll just create this little directory here. I mean file. I'm messing up with my words today. But anyway. So what we need to do is edit some properties here. But I'll just show you guys this in case if you want to have a complete configuration. I don't really need all of this from the configuration in Ranger, but you can see that there are so many different types of uh, sort of uh, edits here that you can set to uh, to really make Ranger more you know dynamic. But for the purposes of this video, I'd say we don't need all of that. So let's just copy these five lines here, right? And let's go back to here and let's paste it, right? So the one thing that we have to edit is here, which is the visual editor part. And here we set whatever we want our default text editor to be. So I want to use nano, set it to nano, and then here, um, we also have to change it here and change it to nano, control x to save, save that, let's launch ranger, now let's open our configuration, and it's nano here, so let's back out, um, well we don't need to back down actually. Uh, now let's change it back to Vim. Let's say we want to use Vim. Put that to Vim. Scroll all the way down here. And then this at Vim also. Save. Uh, 
sorry, gotta restart range here. And then we'll see that the uh, text editor has now been reset back to Vim. So that's how you change it. You can just set to any editor that you want here. Um, again, I, I prefer Nano, um, but you can also use Vim or any other editor that you like. So that's it for this one. Again, if you appreciate this work, you find that the fat, fluffy red hamster is cute and adorable, please give a like and a sub. It's greatly appreciated.